dead. Okay. Maybe I can punch a dead body and get it back. No. It doesn't work there. I have to be alive. A single grunt there. Would it be safe to go down and punch him? Maybe I should wait for him to come to me. Hmm. Where are you? Where are you going? Oh God! What was that? Where'd that come from? Stick your leg. Explosion right in the balls. That didn't count as a stick either, that's quite strange. Oh, that went straight past him. That was a stick. Oh. Come on. There we go. Oh no. Oh, damn it. One of them must have already thrown a grenade. Three lives left, and I'm halfway there. It's not looking too good. Got a long way to go. Ah, <laughs> what did he just say? I'll have to listen back to that, see what he said. They do say some very strange things with that skull activated. God, I'm just doing terrible with grenades. Yeah, those spike grenades, those spikes will just fly absolutely everywhere. Just blow him up. It's a lot quicker. What happened there? The AI seemed to have just broken. He's just standing there staring at me. something. Oh, I must have put, picked up a health. Oh no, I died, didn't I? Of course. How foolish of me to not remember the fact that I just died a minute ago. Oh, I don't even know if that hit anything. No, obviously it didn't. I don't think that did either. I think it just went straight between them. Oh no, it, it did. That's the one. Yeah, standard grenade kills don't seem to get you a lot of points. Sticks get you a bit more. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn it, it's put invincibility on. Crap. These guys are just horrible. There we go. Just gotta be patient and very careful and keep moving. Hello? That was terrible. I'm not really used to the grenade throwing on this. He seems to throw it further than a Spartan can in Halo 3. A little bit illogical. Uh, maybe that's the trick there. Maybe if I fire them slowly at him. Maybe if just if he takes loads of damage at once, he activates it. So if I just fire them sort of one by one, rather than just a stream of them, I can take him out easily. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, you dick. I didn't seem to be able to get that last shot off quick enough. Whoa! Those things are lethal. They just bounce around all over the place as well. Well, I say all over the place, they bounce once. Depending on how close the surface is that you're firing them at. Stick his belly. Five enemies. Nearly at the end of this set, I'll get a life back. 
and there will be a bonus round. I don't think you lose lives for dying in the bonus round actually, which is good. But you can only die once in the bonus round. You have to wait till the end of it to respawn. Well, yeah, I think it ends straight away actually if you die. Two enemies remaining. Oh, there was a beam rifle there. Do I want that though? So many heavy weapons in here at the moment. Be nice if they could all just stay there. One more enemy. Where is he? Oh, that door just there he is. Hello. Your grenade throwing is way too slow. Let's pick some of these up. So that seems to I hope it does anyway, it seems to stop them from despawning. Pick up that hammer as well. Oh, maybe I can use this for taking out some of the grunts. Let's see how this goes. They're going to be pouring out of that phantom when it comes. They might, oh no, they're coming out of there as well, I think. I think they basically just come from every direction. Yeah, dropping down off the sides there. Some of them have got... Oh, God, what? Jesus. I haven't got many points. Oh, I'll get bonus lives if I get 2,000 points. Ah. Didn't realise that. Oh. God, taking a lot of damage. Wow, stamina damage. Stamina damage. Whoa. Yes, I got 2,000 plus points. It's good. And I'm not dead. Oh. Okay, I am dead. I just jinxed it there. But I did lose a life, so that's good. What? Or maybe I did lose a life. Bonus lives. They only gave me one. Maybe I needed another 2,000. Oh. Uh, I appear to have just spilt water down the back of my... Oh god, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> be right back a minute. Sorry about that, everyone. I just uh, knocked over my glass of water. And it spilt down the back of where my Xbox is. And all my TV cables and everything. <laughs> That's not good. I literally could have died then. Could have caused a fire. House could have burned down. I never would have been able to upload this video. Well, it's like the third time I've done that. Maybe one day I'll die from it. Okay, let's concentrate on killing these again. I have to edit out that massive gap where I was just <laughs> stupidly stuffing my towel down the back of the cabinet. Well, the desk thing. Come on. Oh, you flipping. Yeah, you better die. Yeah, it's fairly warm down the back of there, so hopefully it should. Any remaining drops should just dry. Hopefully. <laughs> There's none like about to drip onto the Xbox. I'm just going to short circuit. All the power's going to go off. It'll explode. Reinforced. Everything in my room will explode. Everything will be on fire. And there'll just be a huge gaping crater where my house used to be. 
Oh, what was that? Oh, here they come. Oh, a little. Where's he gone? Oh no. Not good. Not good at all. Very low on ammo. This isn't really the most practical weapon, but just killing things like this. Okay, got my pistol back. Take that actually. Die! Okay, we're getting closer, getting closer to the target, only 80,000 more to go, yeah, I could have, I could have, I feel like I could have got a lot more bonus points from that grunt round, but alas, I shall not regret it, I'll get more points, I will do it. I will complete this. Triple kill. Maybe I'll actually do it. Every other time I try to do this, when I'm not recording, I've failed. But the one time I am recording, I've, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll get the achievement. Maybe I find out I've already got the achievement, and then I'll cry <laughs> and shoot some pigeons. I don't know why I do that. Oh, you look buggers. I've never been pigeon shooting in my life. Not even clay pigeon shooting. I feel like that would be quite fun actually. I've been paintballing. And I was awful at that. I just sort of sat behind a dirt mound and shot randomly into the distance. Occasionally shouting. Yeah, needless to say, we lost. And the other round was just me camped out in some wo little wooden hut. And so a guy just ran straight in and paintballed me and my friend. We barely had a chance to move. And then someone threw like a smoke grenade in there as well. I didn't even realise you could get those in paintball. But, uh, I think we lost because the other team had some guys who brought their own, their own bloody equipment and flipping automatic SMG paintball guns. I mean, oh, come on. It's not exactly fair, is it? Everyone else is there just having a casual time, shooting each other in the face, popping some eyeballs, and they come along with their fully automatic flipping SMGs. They don't stand a chance. Anyway, a little bit unrelated. Oh, oh, oh. God, I can't get inside. <sighs> that happens to me a lot. I don't have a very good sense of my surroundings. I just get stuck on a wall. I'm like a fly. Trying to get out of a window. Oh, it's a brute. Oh no, 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 no. I'm very low on how. Oh my god, these guys are taking so much damage now. The difficulty has been upped. Uh, I think the tilt scores on. Makes everyone more powerful, I believe. What's that? Is that a, it's a brute right there behind that. No. Box thing. I don't think I've got a sniper, have I? Oh, there's a beam rifle down here, actually. Well, there was. Uh, might have despawned. Oh, God. Oh, you little. <sighs> right. Do this. Let's do this. Reloading. Double kill. 
Flipping. There we go. I'm trying not to swear. I think I do it a little bit too much. So I'm trying to keep this clean. I did swear a little bit earlier, but let's, let's pretend I didn't do that. I can always bleep it out. Put like a chicken noise over it. Maybe a foghorn. Or maybe that would be very annoying and cliché. Oh man, this guy is so hard to kill right now. The grunts still die from a single headshot, but the brutes are ruthless. Ah, that guy's naked. Right, oh. Give me that, there we go. That's how you drain a shield. Plasma weapons are the best for that. Oh. There we go. Wasted a lot of bullets there, I'm just trying to get one headshot. <laughs> that guy just got screwed. Trying to hit me? How dare you? Looking ball shield. I feel like that ball shield was already there before I even put it up. I could not hit him in the head. Might have just me been me being terrible. Someone's coming in that door. I don't like that. The door just opened. Where? Hmm. It's quite strange. Anyway, let's get back to killing. Oh, I don't think that killed anyone. Or maybe it did, I don't know. Oh. Die, you little bugger. On a killing frenzy. No! You can't do that. Oi. Stop it. You've been unreasonable. Oh god. That wasn't good. Headshot. Got him. So I need some health now. Alright, coming up to the end of this set. Nearly about three quarters of the way there. I think we're doing pretty good actually. We might just be able to do this. Double kill. Whoa. Changing mags. Ah, shot to the head. Shot to the head. You're to blame. You give headshots a bad name. It's a nice, nice sofa there. Where's that come from? Oh, I'm just, just it exploded. I didn't realise it was a movable object. I learn something new every day. Double kill. Even if it is completely useless. Those sofas on Halo 3 ODST are movable. They have physics. Yeah. I can tell my grandkids that one day. You know most sofas on the on the old Halo 3 game they can move on the old DST, you know the one where they fall out the sky. Well they're not as good as Spartans. However they can progress substantially further. And they're still able to touch heavy weaponry like mounted machine gun turrets. That's what I'm going to be like as an old person. I'm going to turn into an old lady as well. 
that's basically all I'm going to do when I'm old is just play games. I'm just going to be playing really old games like this. Like it's just going to be like photorealistic games all the kids are playing. And I'm still going to be playing Halo 3. Oh, you bugger. Like Xbox 360 will be like a retro console when I'm old. That's just the weirdest. <laughs> That's so strange. I can tell my kids, my grandkids, about. Oh, that is assuming that I don't die alone. I can tell them about all the fun times I had playing Halo Three. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm basically an old man now. I just sit around drinking tea. And moaning. Ooh, get those kids off my lawn. Like oh, those brutes. Back in my day, we had to fight the Covenant. We flipping. We had no choice. We had to be conscripts. We were put straight into the army. They didn't give us a chance. We had to kill. Hundreds and thousands of these buggers. You've got it so easy, you lazy whippersnappers. That's what I'm going to be like when I'm old. <laughs>